Lang. Just gonna get rid of these dots because they bother me. Okay. Um, yeah, I kind of like that. Oh, they look so cool. So that's obviously a heavily, heavily irregular verb. I don't know, never think of the blackboard, as they always say. But nevertheless, let's, let's finish this one up, and if we're wrong, we're wrong, right? YouTube, hi, welcome. It's very good to have you here. What we're about to do is make a little bit of progress on another language in the call family. So if you are unfamiliar with the call family, and you've never, if the word protocol is, uh, is, is a totally new one to you, um, then I would suggest checking out the playlist that this is uh, connected to. Go see that, come back, see what we're gonna do here. Because what we're gonna do here is work on the Lang3b, a language with the, such a cool name, Lang3b, and so we're actually gonna give it a proper name uh, today, and then we're gonna work on some verbs and some nouns, if there's time. We'll see, I don't know if there'll be time, but if there's time. So, in we go, yeah, okay, so, if anyone is curious behind the scenes, what's going on, um, we have our Lexergy sound changer here, which is great. Slightly off screen, the title, but it, you can sort of see it. And these are <laughs> these are my rules. They're ugly as sin. I did not have a uh, chance to clean them up. Um, but the important thing is not what they look like, but what they do. And so you can sort of see what happens we have two verbs here. One irregular verb in protocol, uh, ya, which has an ablaut uh, stem change in certain forms, going to y, which you can see in, say, yuta. And then the, the verb afi, which means to be thus or to be so, to be like that. And it is a regular verb, and it uh, has all of these lovely endings that go on it, afita, afihupa, Afijupa, afite, afiajue, these kinds of things. And what happens when they go into Lang 3B is, yeah. So we, ya actually stays as ya. That's at least something, right? But yuta becomes ith. Yehupa becomes if. Yuta, we had that one already. Ith. Yeahue becomes. <laughs> Yaish, yaish. I think I got that right. Yaish. Um, ya okwe becomes yok. Yasu becomes is. Yachakwa becomes iuk. Yutokwa becomes either. Yafalo becomes evil. That's evil. And yafa becomes yaf. So a huge amount of changes. Uh, going on here, uh, which we we decided on a long time ago, but we're just getting back to it now. Um, the only thing that is different, I've added a few a few extra things like final devoicing. Um, I added that, and I also added. Um, I basically want to make all the unstressed vowels into schwa, which uh, I think works for this language. Um, so we have this paradigm here. So I think why don't we just start going back to our Bum, 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 our lang 3b and we have a little we have one sentence written in written with lang 3b's grammar which we've decided about uh, but with the phonology of protocol so we just need to play the, the the tape forward on these sound changes and see what it will look like um, so that's on our agenda um, so another thing on our agenda though is to give this language a name uh, and before before we started this video, um, some people in the chat had a really good idea, um, and to give them credit, I'm here for a good time, and uh, Moon Truther, great minds, thought alike, came up with this idea where we take the string Lang3b, adapt it to protocol phonology, and then run it through the sound changes and get a, a, a cool, I don't know, something cool for, for, for the name. So why don't we do that? So let's look at the protocol um, grammar. We don't actually have a, a phonology formally written out anywhere, do we? But you can see, so I can say a few things about the phonology while we're looking at some of the forms. Um, so we have here a fairly strict CV language. Um, we can have vowel initial words or vowel initial morphemes technically, 
but otherwise it is a strict CV language, so consonant, vowel, syllable structure only. Um, so let's approach this by heading to the bottom of this and adapting the phonology. So Lang, so I need to get the IPA keyboard out, I think. Go to the full version, Lang. Where is the, t Oop. okay, you, one wrong move and I tell you everything goes crazy. Uh, looks like I have to do this manually. So this is the, the source um, string and how are we going to adapt this? So let's take this and go over here and put it here. Um, the qu first question, do we have la? in the language. Yes, we do. As we can see here, tona la. So that's fine. Do we have a? Ah, no. What's the closest? Ah. So here we go. Uh, velar nasal. Do we have a velar nasal? We do not. Um, so we can change this to lan. And then we need an epithetic vowel. What better epithetic vowel is there than schwa? Lan. Uh, we don't have any interdental fricative, so we can change this to either t or s. Lana t, lana t, lana s. I don't know. Um, let's try it with t. And since we are dealing with the CV structure, we have an another schwa here. And uh, then we don't have r, we just have, I believe, la. And we have no voicing contrast in uh, stops. So we have lanatalipi, lanatalipi, which looks pretty cool. Um, all right, so let's see if this actually will run through or if this is a case that I haven't provided for in the rules of Lexergy. So we can. Remove all of this, and actually, you know what? I'm I'm loath to remove this without putting it somewhere, so I'm just going to put it into here, where I just put everything, random collection of copy paste stuff, and let's go back and let's come up with our name. Is it going to work? I have my doubts. Drum roll, please. No, it doesn't work. Okay. I think it's because we have um, a, a syllable structure that's not prepared for um, both of these schwas being deleted. Hmm, what can we do? What can we do? What can we do? Okay, for the purposes of making this work, let's just get rid of one of the schwas. Let's get rid of both schwas. Okay, there we go. Um, now we have to, I'm going to have to do some coding in this thing to make it, to make it work and to make the syllable structure recognize what we're doing. Um, but for now we have something at least, which is Lanathilof, Lanathilof, which actually sounds kind of cool. Um, what would it be? Okay, let's. I know this, I can do this. I'm not gonna try and code, but I can come up with what it would be if these schwas um, did actually delete. So we have, we would have something like, actually we would have, we would really have an invalid syllable structure here. Um, la, lun, oops, come back. So we would have, I think we would have Lun Thylef. I don't know. I don't know. Never think of the blackboard, as they always say. I think Lun Thylef is pretty good. So if we accept that these are not schwas, but rather as, and by the way, in an earlier, in pre-protocol, schwa and a were the same, um, were the same phoneme. So if we have La Natalipi, or La Natalipi, then we have indeed Lenadilef. And I actually kind of like that. Lenadilef. 
Yeah. Lanathyleth. Okay. I'm happy with this. Yep, yeah, yeah, Raven, I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be debugging this off screen. Don't worry. You know, this is my these are my I'll probably save it for Friday evening. You know, this is typical Friday evening activity. Um but let's put in a little note in our planning. Debug lang three B exergy syllable structure. Great. Keep yourself organized. Lena Thyloff. Moon Truther writes, this is a cellar door moment. This is a cellar door moment. I agree, I can't, I couldn't agree more. Something just, it's kismet. I don't know what it is. I couldn't, we couldn't have planned it. We couldn't have planned it. It just happened. Um, Lena Thyloff. I love this. This is perfect. Okay. Calling it Lena Thyloff. Um, we don't have an orthography yet for this language, but um, we'll come up with something. Lang 3B is now officially Lenathyleph. Oh my goodness. I love it. Okay, I'm just going to let's see how does Google Sheets like IPA in the tab, in the names of tabs. Lenathyleph. Excuse me, keep that nice in front. Oh, it does. Okay, you can't see it because it's off screen, but it worked. Okay. All right. I'm happy. I'm pleased. I think we're doing well. Uh, so let's go back and let's do a verb conjugation. Let's see what the regular and irregular verb endings are for Lenathyleph. Oh, it feels so good to have it there. Okay, so let's go here. We have our two verbal paradigms, which we have here. And we are going to have a little chart like we have for Eustamia. The verb paradigms. Let's just copy this over to Lenathyleph. My tabs are getting out of control. I have way too many. My life is falling apart. But I still have a cool, I still have a cool name. <laughs> Lenathyleph. Lenathyleph. Yeah, we might back that, that, ah. Uh, at some point, Lenathyleff. Just sounds a bit nicer. Okay, so to do, to enclose. So we just take these out. Okay, and we are ready. So let's apply. And we get our verb paradigms. We can just write them out. I won't try and make any phonemic notation because I, I don't honestly know what is phonemic in this language yet. Um, we'd have to actually analyze it. But yeah, if, if, yaish, yoke, just remove all of this. Is Iuk Either And I'll put in the stress for anything polysyllabic. Concessive evil and imperative yaf. So that's obviously a heavily, heavily irregular verb. Um, but yeah, as we said before, for Yustami, if there's going to be an irregular verb, do is probably it. Do, be, have. These are all prime candidates. Uh, and then we have our regular, what, what is supposed to be a regular verb. We'll see just how regular it is. Okay, we have Aif. To enclose, oh sorry, to be thus. I think we're using for this this language. So aif. Um, then we have avif. Aivet. Oops. No. Come back, stress markers. 
I've it. Avish. Actually, we can probably just write these all in, can't we? There we go. That's what it's all about. Avish, Avik, Ivas, Avuk, Avida, Avival, and Ivaf. So this reminds me a lot of um, this reminds me a lot of romance um, because we have these verb paradigms in which the number of syllables in Latin in the forms in Latin changed which syllable was stressed and because the fates of stressed and unstressed syllables are so different in the in the romance languages we get cases where we have paradigms like um, oh, what would be a good example cerrar to close and um, sierra closes um, so that we have diphthongization when that vowel was stressed in Latin, but no diphthongization when a non-stressed when that vowel was not stressed in Latin. So we have kind of a similar thing happening here. So we have this verb "eif," which also has a, a stem a v. And so maybe I actually think that this could fit the vibe of this language if it continued. So each verb, to know a verb, you have to know sort of the two principal parts of the verb. You have to know the form that came about when the uh, when stress is in one position, so eif, and when stress is in another position, a v. And so, you know, when people are learning this in school, they learn, okay, how do you say to be thus? It's the verb eif, a v. And then you just add your forms on to that. Uh, so then, what are the endings? So no regularization, no analogy. What are the endings? What can we glean? Um, we have, so ignoring to do, uh, because that is just really irregular. But we have the ending f. And so we're, we'll call this stem a, the a the if stem and a v we'll call the stem b so to to make um, the predicative form you just leave stem a alone to make the continuative form you suffix f to stem b to make the past form you suffix ut um, to stem a and you voice it so actually, what we have here is I've, which is going to show up as I've because it's word final. We have word final devoicing. Okay, so that's fine. Um, then we have a vish. So we have attaching sh to stem b. A vik, attaching k, suffixing k to stem b. Ivis and to attach us to stem A. Moon Truther writes it might be worth checking another verb. Yeah, that's probably true. We may I may have to eat my words uh, because this is a very complicated derivation. Um, but nevertheless, let's let's finish this one up. And if we're wrong, we're wrong, right? <laughs> I say like, like you were wrong. No, it's me who's wrong. Um, for substantive, we suffix uk to stem b. For conditional one, we suffix the to stem um, to stem b. For concessive, we suffix vo to stem b. And for imperative, we suffix f to stem a. Okay, so that's our first hypothesis. Now let's try another verb. Uh, okay, what else do we have? We want a, one that's marked with S because that's going to be, it's not going to have ablaut. So let's see. 
and one with a, out a lot of schwas because I think schwas are going to cause us trouble with uh, I'm going to have to debug this these rules. So let's find one that's we don't actually have a lot, do we? Anato, that doesn't work because of the schwa. Musata, Memona, those are going to be trouble. Let's 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 just try another one. Uh, let's make one up. So what do we have? What could be good? We could try se Sefa to wash. Um, that's going to have a different vowel, at least at the end, and a different vowel in the middle. It's going to have F still, so maybe we could try something else. Um, what about... So many schwas. Who put all these schwas in the language? Hmm. Colin, you've done it again. You've painted yourself into a corner. It's sad, really. You hate to see it. All right, so... We know... Ah, somane. Somane, and then follow. Pala ne. So this might work. Let's just see. Let's just see if it does. So first of all, let's put in the just the bare form, see if it computes. Okay, it does. Oh, they look so cool. Soima. Soima. Um, and then let's see if we can handle having a suffix on. Yep, okay. Looks like we're going to be fine. Okay, so somane and palana. Let's just say these are uh, static, static forms. And where's the other one? Somane. To live. All right, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. So, I could use Sonofe too. Okay, so let's take our Afi forms. Apologies for the somewhat annoying copy paste fest. Oops. Always enjoyable, I'm sure. And then let's do the same thing with Palana. I suspect that we will get some different outcomes, so this is going to be fun. So Palana, Palana, Says everyone stay going. Decent. Okay, so here we go. Let's see. Is it gonna run? No, it doesn't like it. What doesn't it like? Palank. Yeah. All right, let's let's keep we'll we'll do palana later once I've debugged. But I think we should be fine. There we go. We're fine with Somane, so I'm just going to put this Palana stuff away here. And we can... Okay, so we have... Oops. And we don't have a negative yet, so we just got to align these. Okay, let's see if our... Um, if our guesses were correct. So we have these two two stems for to be thus, which is av and av. We appear to have two stems for, oh, what happened there? Bold, please. And it went back to font size 10. I cannot, I cannot abide it. Okay, so we have some an a. And Oh, we have this. Okay, this is interesting. We have three forms for this one. We 
we have three forms. Okay. Okay. What are we going to do? This is good. This is good. So we have... <laughs> we have verbs with three principal parts. We have samane, samaina, and soima. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right. So we're just going to figure out what, what's going on here. So we have to rename our, our stems. Just going to get rid of these dots because they bother me. Here. Um, okay, so, but let's look at our endings to make sure that they at least still stay the same, and I think they do. So, do we have suffix of uf, uf, vul, vul, the, the, wuk, wuk, us, us, k, k, sh, sh, ut, ut, f, f, and nothing, nothing. So, um, oh, I just saw a little reconnecting and I just, my heart skipped a beat. Um, hopefully that was all, that was just on Google's end and not, things didn't stop for you, hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, all right, so what do we have here? So the endings are all the same and Raven, points out that this is an eye mutation issue, and indeed it is. Um, I have a rather ugly eye mutation rule here. Actually, actually, all front vowels will front all vowels in front of them. Yeah. Uh, okay, so what do we have? We have stem A, which is the predicative form. We're going to keep calling this stem A. So I've. But then we have this and then we have a V and Samane. We're going to still call this stem B. But then we have, in this case, a third stem. So this is actually stem C. Um, Samine. Or Samine. So that's stem C. Saminus, stem C. Saminef stem C. And in the case of Ive, stem A is Ive, stem B is a V, and stem C is Ive. In the case of Soima, stem A is Soima, stem B is Samane, and stem C is Samine. Samine. There we go. And again, with these random font size changes okay I actually really like this what 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 was someone there what did that mean to live I think I hope you have to do two of these yeah okay um yeah I kind of like that I kind of love that okay Lena Vilef you are becoming uh, a fast favorite of mine. <sighs> well, I was going to take this little sentence here and run it through our um, sound changer player, but I have no faith that this won't collapse <laughs> and give us errors. Uh, so I will probably, um, well, why don't we do what we can, right? Could be fun. Let's see. So we've, we've dealt with all of these. Let's see what we have. I really wish I could just make this a little bit bigger. There's no, there's no, you see what I'm trying to do here? I'm trying to, I'm trying to pull it. It doesn't work. So let's just do what we can. And then we'll, then we'll call it a day, I think. So my voice can recover before the other things I have to do later on. Um, so is it going to work? No. Okay, so what's the thing that's a problem? A bunch of schwas in a row, so we'll take that out. 
And Masifa is also going to be a problem. Okay, so we got most of them working. So what do we have here? A Vivek. So I'm just going to write it. I need more rows. Give me more rows. A Vivek. Payawicha or yeah, Payawicha. What's that going to turn into? <laughs> Faye. 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 I think. I'm bad at this this semi vowel here. Faye. Nafia. Nafia. Naiva. Mona. Mon. And then we don't know what Masalia is going to be, but we have something glorious. We have something absolutely glorious because Wakwama, Wakwama, which is our word for like in, um, or well, it's the root that's giving us like in Lanadailaf, is Uch. So we went from wakwama to uch. And that's kind of like a aqua to o um, level change, in my opinion. Why don't we run through it and then we'll, we'll, we'll stop. Oh, you can't see. Sorry. Hi. What is wrong with me? You can't see what I'm doing. There you go. Now you can. Um, so. Avidak, faye, naiva, mon, something, uch, something. I'm proud of this. I'm proud of us. This is a thing of beauty. Lena Oh, you love you love it. Okay, what we're gonna do? Let's walk through what happened with. No, that's not right. Trace evolution of Wakwama. So we have to take this out, and we can see step by step what happened. So I'm going to. Bring this over here and just sort of paste it out here. So we go, uh, we assign stress. So this is the protocol stress assignment rule. Uh, stress is going to be antipenultimate, wakwama. Then we delete schwa, going from wakwama to wakma. Then we voice, um, voice obstruence in between vowels or sonorants. So we go from wakma to wagma. Then we take that that uh, labial element and throw a glide in front of the consonant. So from wagma to waugma. Then we apply apocope. So we lose our last uh, vowel, and with that vowel, we also lose any uh, consonant that's hanging on that wouldn't we can't syllabify otherwise. So from waugma, sorry, from oh nope, sorry, I, I skipped a step. Uh, then we have to lenite. So we lenite this. G, the stop, uh, from waugma to waugma. Then we apply apocope. So we go from waugma to waug, apocope, final vowel loss. And then we apply trifthong simplification. So when we have a w on either side of a vowel, it's going to go u. So similarly, if you have yai, it's going to turn to e. If you have Yay, it's going to turn into e, and so similarly, wow is going to turn into u. So wow turns to u, and then we have final devoicing, which takes us from u to u, and that is how it happened. Okay, okay, I think, I think it is now time for us to hang up our hats, to relax a bit, and and just. I think maybe we could all tonight just, or this morning, or wherever it is where you are, just practice saying, Lena thy love. Lena thy love. Lena thy love. I know that's what I'll be doing. All right. Well, 
thank you so much for joining and watching what I believe was a little bit of magic that happened here today. Um, and if you like this and you're not already subscribed, maybe think, give it some thought, you know, ponder it. Go on a long walk and ponder it because uh, I think it may be something that you enjoy uh, because more and more of this is coming. Um, so with that, I will give, I'll end on a sort of a cheesy freeze frame for Lucy. Okay, okay, yep, cheesy freeze frame accomplished, check.